It's the biggest high school track meet in the region, and this year the Howard Wood Dakota Relays turns 99 years old. The boys' special event this spring is the 200, while the girls run the 800. Now it alternates every other year, so receiving an invitation is a huge accomplishment, and one Bismarck school has an athlete in each race. In St. Mary's history, as far as I'm aware of, we haven't even ha ever had one, and now that we have, now we have two going, and that's just actually with Eva, she's the only North Dakota one that got invited, and with Colby, there are there was only three of the nine that got invited from North Dakota, so it is a huge deal because they only invite nine; they run eight with one alternate. Eva Selinski said her inspiration for the 800 special happened two years ago when Century's Aaron Palmer built a big lead and then hung on down the stretch to win the special event. It's so cool that two of us from St. Mary's both got picked. I remember I was just thinking that Kobe and I used to run at this like little Great Plains track thing back when we were little in the summer. I just kind of I think it's cool that all these years later we're still running and racing together and running fast times. We got some of the fastest people. In the region. The fact that we both get in as juniors and you know it obviously shows like that really hard work that we put in and the great coaching staff we have here at St. Mary's that are really dedicated to the athletes. Now Colby will have company from the capital city in the boys special event. Bismarck High's Jaron McNichols is rated number one in the state right now in the 100, 200 and the 300 hurdles. Reese Snow of Legacy helped set records in three relays last year at the Howard Wood.